Hello Inventor, so I'm working on this and hit game using MIT Apple Inventor. So you can see that's our first screen and you'll see here play button. Okay, now we need to click on that button to start a game. So you can see we have some ants here. Okay, and now we need to hit that like this. If any ants reach the top, so your game will over. Okay, so make sure you need to scale them like this. And here's one sound also. And you can see the speed of that ant is also increasing. Okay, and your score is 13 and game over and you can just try again Now let's try to play again and let let me just try this and you will see the score in the bottom Okay, let, now let's click on the play button and now speed is very slow right now But after some seconds the speed automatically increase So let me just play this this amazing game a step by step using MIT Apple Mentor. So if you have any suggestion for this game, so please comment on the video so I will implement all the suggestion. So click on a new project and my project name is and game new and click on OK. Now you can see that's our first screen of our game. So I'm going to just change first the thing is like that the title of my screen. So click on the screen and in the right side you will see in the bottom the screen name one. So just say and game like this okay now we need to design our game so first of all we'll create a start game screen okay so i'm going to use here one layout in the left side you'll find the layout option and you'll see the vertical arrangement just drag and drop this and make sure that should be height fill parent and the width is also fill parent like this now click on the user interface and just drag and drop one button and now we need to click on the vertical arrangement and make this component in the center. So for that align horizontal should be center and the vertical also center. Now I need one image background image of that vertical arrangement. So you can choose any image. So I'm going to add one image here. Click on the image option, upload file and choose file and this OK. And I'm going to add one button image also. So click on the button and the right side will find the image option. Click on this and click on upload file and click on OK and as you can see here that I have just uploaded the image this one is like oh very big so I'm gonna just make this height and width is like some in a pixel is like I'm gonna make this 100 pixel height and the width is around 200 pixel I'm gonna remove the text from that button like this and as you can see here that's our first screen so whenever someone click on this play button so we need to open our game and we need to start our game so we need here one more vertical arrangement and we'll hide that vertical arrangement. Okay. So just hide this visual off and drag and drop one more layout. Just this one horizontal again and make this also width and height is fully parent. Now we need to design our game. Okay. So I'm going to add here canvas in the left side. You'll find the drawing animation and see the canvas. This is our the main canvas where we will play the game. I'm going to make this height and width as fill parent. Now we need to do one more thing here. In the left side, we'll find the user interface and I need here one more layout. Click on layout and see the horizontal arrangement. Why I needed this? I need this to display the score. Okay. Make this width as fill parent and make sure this, this vertical horizontal arrangement width should be or height should be at least 10% like this click on user interface and drag and drop one label here like this and just change that text name to score something make this at least 20 pixel or 30 okay like this and make this in a center like this change the background color of this horizontal arrangement to something orange and i'm going to use here one more label to display the score define the zero value to this label and make sure this this font size should be at least 30 like this cool now we need some answer okay so for that in the left side you find the drawing animation again and you'll see the image spread so just drag and drop one image spread here and i'm going to upload one one ant image here so click on the upload file click on choose file and i need to make that image should be height and width is around some height uh, like, let's make it 100 pixel and width, width is around 50 pixel so we have uploaded the image but we need to set this so click on the image spread and just click on the picture and see that png image sorry 
So we have one and here. Now I need to add multiple ands here. So we just need to copy and paste. We don't need to add the multiple images here. We just need to copy paste that image split. So use the control C or command C and just use the control V or command V like this. Okay. Like see this. I need more images like this. You can add multiple ants here. Okay. Now I'm going to add only the five ants here. Cool. Now this is our design, but we need here some uh, sensors. Like we need here a timer because we need to increase that speed of that ants. Okay. So how we can do this? So in the last cell, we find the sensors. I'm going to use here the clock component like this. We need here one more component to display the notification. So we need a notifier. Click on user interface and just drag and drop the notifier also. I'm going to add one sound also. Okay. So I need a sound component also. In the left side, you will find the media and see the sound. So now we have all the components, but where is the sound? So we see the sound and there's nothing. So I'm going to add upload one sound. I already have one sound here. See this sound. Okay. I'm going to add that sound. So click on upload file, click on choose file and okay. So whenever someone, you know, hit that and so we need to play that sound. Okay. Like this. Now this is done. This is now we need to use here. So now we need to just hide this vertical arrangement. Second one. Okay. Just hide this and make sure that should be enabled. First one like this. Now, whenever someone click on this play button, it means which button? This is the button one. Then we need to hide that arrangement and we need to open the another arrangement. Okay. So go to the block. Someone click on the button one. Okay. So we need to hide this vertical arrangement. Visible should be false. Just type false like this. And then just copy paste this and make sure change that vertical arrangement to two and make this true like this two and true. Got it. Now we, we are on the game screen. Okay. And this screen will look like this here and we need to hide this also. So this will automatically hide like this. Now we need to move our ants. Okay. So how, how we will do that. So it's very simple that we need to do some logics here. Okay. So first of all, we need to create variables. Okay. So what I'll do, I'm going to use the variable and that variable name is ants split image split okay hands image and that is the you can say is the null right now so now for that to click on the list and you see the make a list drag and drop this now we have some image split because we need to apply a lot of you know properties to the all the image spreads so we need to create one list so we can apply all the uh, you know whatever you want to apply like if you want to apply the speed so you can apply it okay easily uh, in all so like this, we have five images. Otherwise, we need to do it, you know, one by one. So that's why I'm using here variables like this. One, two, three, four, and five like this. So I'm going to just change the image split two, three, four, and five like this. Now, whenever, whenever we need to start move or, you know, all these ants. So once the people click on the play button, we need to start moving the, these, you know, ants. But make sure in the default that will move in the this direction. Okay. So how we'll move it and how we'll move it in the top direction. So first we need to move ants. So for that we need to use here the speed. So you'll see here image split and you'll see here one option is set image split speed. You'll see the component called this. So we need to set image speed speed. If I will just set that image speed to the 10 or five or two or three. So this will start moving, but we need to set it for the all image speed. So that's why we created here one global variable list. Okay. Image aren't image list. So we need to apply this. So we need to create one procedure. So I'm going to add this procedure like this, and I'm going to apply this properties in the all images. So how we'll do that in the bottom, you'll see the any component. Just click on the plus icon and you'll see the image split. So any image split. So we need to set the speed. So you'll see the set speed option here. Speed. So set set image split of component. So which component from which component? So we need to use a list. So I'm going to use here the loop. Click on control. You'll see the for each loop. This one. So I'm going to add for each loop. Under that loop, I'm going to use that image split. And for each, we need to add a list. So which is the list? This is the list. Now list 
and which component this is the item okay and two so what we need to set i'm gonna set to the three got it now what i what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna create one variable here okay and that variable name is speed and i'm gonna assign that value to suppose three in initial stage so i'm gonna add this variable here so once i you know once i want to is so whenever i want to increase that speed so i need to assign that value and i need to call this procedure here only so this is the uh, speed procedure so speed and speed got it so how i can uh, call this click on the procedure and see the and so once i click on the button one so we need to call this procedure okay i'm going to use that button like this so this will assign and this will start you know moving your image speed will start moving okay so this is uh, this is the part now go to the design you'll see the image speed this but this will start moving to the this direction so we need to make it in the top so for that bottom you'll see the heading option so make sure that should be 90 if you will assign the 90 so that will move to the top okay like this this will move like like this okay so we need to assign the heading value to the all uh, you know image speed so you can just assign from here 90 90 90 90 okay all the images we have assigned got it so this is the simple now in the next part we will learn how we can kill and how we can hit the image spread and how we can get the score how we can increase the score and how we can create the game over screen so we already have completed the design part guys okay so this is our second screen we have done the design part we have done some basic block coding here it means whenever someone click on the button one so our our ants start moving now whenever someone hit it okay and how we can increase the speed so all the all the things we will learn now we need to increase the speed so how we can do this so i'm going to increase the speed after every two seconds or after every three seconds okay so how we'll do that so first of all click on the timer here this one and you'll see that this timer and we need to fire this we need to just call this timer okay and we need to increase the that speed variable value every time once this uh, you know timer will fire this will fire every which time click on the clock you see every second so we need to assign this 3000 if 3000 it means this clock will automatically call every three seconds every three seconds so every three seconds i'm gonna just add the speed value increase by one go to maths you'll see the value okay i'm gonna get the current value and i'm gonna add maths value to one like this okay now we need to call this ant speed also procedure because this will assign the ant speed okay like this in every three seconds this will increase the speed of our ants got it now whenever someone touch any ants so we need to kill them or we need to move them in the bottom okay so it, it will look like uh, they are killed or they are again coming from the bottom okay so how we'll do that so in the bottom you'll see the any component and you'll see the any image image split so any image is split touched you'll see her touch down touch up touched this is when any image is split touched then we need to play the sound first of all okay and see the play we need to play the sound got it now we need to move our image spread to the bottom okay so if i just click here and touch here so that should be moved to the bottom side okay so no one can see that like here okay so how we'll do that so go to the blog and you'll see here any any component like this or any image spread any image spread and you'll see the any image spread to the move move okay call image spread move okay and for component which component this component get component here and the x and y value should be so y value you can make sure the y value should be 400 okay minimum uh, and like this 400 like this or uh, you can just assign the value to the 300 to the 400 or like 500 up to okay like from 300 or 400 but for the x value you can just say 0 to 4 
So you got this thing what I am uh, writing here. See the x value go to the design. You will see here this is the end here. Okay. See right now this x value is 45 and the y value is 9. If I will move that to the bottom, so that y value is 201. Okay. But the x value is not increasing. The x value is here is the 0 in the left side and the right side you will find the 280, uh, 243. In the left side you will see the 0. This means x value will increase from here left to the right and the y value will increase from bottom to the top. You got it? So once I click on this, so that should be moved to the bottom. Okay. So that will never never be the y value never will be zero like here because otherwise the game will automatically over. So we need to make sure that y value should be in the bottom always. So make sure that value should be plus by 200. Okay. So go to the block. You'll see we need to get the y value from the 400 to the 500, but the x value can get from zero to 400. Okay. Now we have moved our uh, moved our image split. Now we need to increase the score. So how we'll do that? Go to the design and you'll see the score that label value is the two. So we need to increase the label two value by one. Simple. So label two, set text value like this and increase by one is like maths. Go to the plus. We need to get the current value, so level 2 dot text value here and just add the 1 maths and value is like 1. Okay, this will increase. Now this is our done. Now what we need to do here, we need to check if, now we need to make game over. Okay, simple. So how we will make our game over? So whenever that end will reach the top, so how we will know that that will reach the top? Okay. So it means whenever that ant will, uh, you know, touch the age. So, but there's four ages, one, two, three, and four. Okay. So we need to check which age that our ant is hit. So go to the block and you'll see here, I'm going to just call it any image split. Go to the any component here, any image split. So any image split age reached. Okay. When any image split age reached, then we need to use your if else condition and check if okay control if if that component value should be that component y value should be less than zero or less than one see this is the image split that y value is minus 14 right now okay so once that value in a very negative value or very uh, you know one or two value then it means that is reached that age top age make sure this is the top age okay so go to the block so here you'll see here the option of image split, any image split, where any image split, sorry, any component, any image split here, and any image split value, any image split value, y, okay? So if any image split value is y component, so I'm going to use the uh, maths here, and this is the component I'm going to compare any image split okay of y and which component this is the component that component reach the uh, you know top that value of x value should be less than one or two you can assign so image split y value should be less than one then we'll make that game is over otherwise not okay now for that we need to make sure our clock should be disabled otherwise the speed will again increase so clock should be disabled like uh, you know that set clock that should be first of all uh, false like this second we need to we need to set that global speed see we have increased our speed make sure that speed should be zero we don't need to move our uh, you know other ends once uh, the game is over so like this and that should be zero so maths and here the value is zero like this now we need to call here the ant speed processor so that will automatically set the all ant speed to the zero this processor okay now we need to display the notifier in the left side you will find the notifier and you'll see the message you can uh, use any so i'm going to use here that uh, call or uh, oh, sorry notifier make sure so message so like this so message dialog this one so message you can display anything like uh, i'm going to just just display here text and just say here message is first your score okay your score is and we need to use the join so click on the text and see the join 
and just call it here your score is and the your score will get it from the level 2 level 2 dot text here you will find level 2 dot text got it and the title and which what is the title what will be the title the title is you can just say game over okay and here's your score and button text is like you can say try again or something whatever you want so i'm gonna just here try again like this cool now make sure once the game will over so we need to hide this vertical arrangement okay vertical 2 should be visible false and first should be enabled so visible false so we can make our game uh, start again okay so and that should be enabled one should be true like this got it so this is the overall game so let me just test this game how this will work go to the design so make sure we need to do one thing here click on the image speed and you'll see in the right side rotate option make sure that should be disabled otherwise once you uh, you know use the hiding is 90 so that your image its image speed will automatically move okay so make sure all the images that should be rotated should be false like this okay like this like this and like this okay go to the block so he can see what we have done we have just used the anti speed make sure the clock should be true okay once you click on the button one and that's the overall game so if you have any doubt in this code so just comment on the video i'll try to solve your all problems thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe our channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye